Greetings to all the third year students of uh, MITW. This video is uh, initiated how to clear the Infosys uh, interview process and what is the best material we can use to get selected for the Infosys company. So straight away, let us open the Google platform. Let me share on the screen. So which material is best suited within short period of time to clear the Infosys process. In the Google, you just enter InfiQ 2023. Directly, you are directed to the Infosys website. Go for the login process. I hope all the students have already used this particular site for the registration. Once you have done the registration, you will be seen a page with your name. If you are unable to get your name, once again, it will show you to log in, use the Gmail access and then log in. So your name will be displayed. This is the first process, the easiest material, what you are supposed to use to clear the Infosys examination. So now you are supposed to concentrate on the programs tab. So if you click on the programs tab, you got Infosys certification act with Infi and Infosys BPM, Business Process Management. So we got the jobs based upon the three tabs available. Even if you are a first year student or second or third, you need to access this particular process. Let us take the example, what exactly is the Infosys BPM? So the students who are not interested in the software job, the software product, once the Infosys is developing any software product, you are going to market that one. You are going to communicate with the clients who are using that particular software. So that particular job is all about Infosys BPM. And Act with Infini is all about writing the codes, taking part in the competition. And then it is also one way of uh, going for the selection process of the Infosys. Now for all the third years who are attempting the Infosys process, you just click on this Infosys certification. This is the first step. So Infosys has prepared complete material to appear for the Infosys examination during the month February. So already every student has gone through this particular profile. What is a basic syllabus you are supposed to prepare for the Infosys. Now, this is the tab you are supposed to concentrate. Learning content. So click on the learning content tab. Yes. So once you got the learning content tab, if you have selected the Java platform, yes, you can go through this particular tab where you can, you must listen to the expert uh, explanation using this tab. And then you are supposed to take the sample mock test. But let us say the students who have selected the Python, select the Python here, and then you will see the different variety of courses which are in the Infosys website. So this is the first process we are supposed to implement. So now you got, if you are opting the examination for the Python, yes, you must finish this particular course, Programming Fundamentals Using the Python Part 1 and Part 2, then move for the database. As we got the question paper contains database management system one and uh, DBMS two. So soon after the completion of the Python. So let us say what exactly we are having. So if you click on this one. Yes. First, let us check with the contents. What are the topics? What is the syllabus from which uh, the Infosys questions will be asked? So if you are following this particular uh, procedure, then it is fine for the external examination, that is the interview process. Now check with the contents. So first introduction to the basic programming. Yes, you will be having the self explained videos by the experts. You are supposed to listen them, prepare the own material and what is the algorithm, what is pseudocode. This is what every company they do ask. Every student should have knowledge on this one. Then followed by each particular video and each topic. At the end, you will be given certain assessment, assignment. So you must finish this assignment. Every work done by you is recorded and updated in the Infosys portal. Automatically, the Infosys HR team will have the work 
done by you in the credits. So now, once you have done with the entire Python courses, the finally, yes, let us move to the next stage of the Python. Once you have done with this course, again, again, go back to the Python. Uh, yes, the basic course. Okay. Imagine you have done with the learning content. You have uh, gone through all the videos of the Python and DBMS. So once you finish the Python programming part one and part two, you must be in a position to write the Infosys mock test. So where can I have the Infosys mock test free of course. So now you must click on this sample test. Okay, now you got the tabs where Infosys certification sample paper. So if you are reasoning these courses, if you are writing this mock test, then 80% of the job for the interview process is finished. Now let us click on this one, Infosys certification Python paper. The similar paper, similar questions will be asked in the Infosys uh, examination. The simple process, just go for the start. Yes, go okay and read the instructions. Yes, it, your time will start to take the examination. So once this is the mock test, which is designed by the Infosys company, the same thing will be having for the interview process. Yeah. This is the Infosys uh, pattern. The similar thing will happen with the Java also. So this is the first basic thing, the students who have opted for the Java, you click on the Java basic uh, model question paper and finish that particular uh, question paper, the appropriate answers. 